Let's start with our little tiny two inch brush today. <laughs> we'll go right into a small amount. <laughs> I love how he chuckles. He's like, let's go in with a two inch brush. <laughs> kind of like, <laughs> good luck to you. Ooh. I feel like such a painter. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Well, for today's video, I am very excited, but also very, very nervous because today we're going to be following a Bob Ross painting tutorial. I actually grew up watching Bob Ross because my older sister has always loved to paint. So I remember watching um, Bob Ross on PBS with my sister. So I was like, you know what? Why don't I try to follow his painting tutorial, but add my own little twist to it and change it up a little bit. And instead of using regular paint and regular painting brushes just use my makeup products and my makeup brushes I thought it'd be something super cool interesting and different to try out now I don't know if this is gonna be a total fail or we're gonna succeed I'm not the best at art so give this video a huge thumbs up for good luck and I also want to remind you guys that I currently have my 600k giveaway going on right now it is a huge giveaway if you guys are interested in knowing how to enter the rules and what I'm giving away I will leave the video link down below in the description box without any further ado let's get started all right so we're gonna start watching the intro to see what we need I kind of already have an idea and have all of my supplies laid out by the way I also got my little overalls it's just so I can be like in the mood looking cute you know so let's get started I'm gonna start playing the tutorial let's we'll start with our little tiny two inch brush today <laughs> we'll go right into a small amount <laughs> I love how he chuckles he's like let's go in with a two inch brush <laughs> kind of like <laughs> good luck to you so I'm going to be using this profusion palette and I'm going to take this shade right here that to me seems like it's the closest to what he has in his palette just a very small amount We'll go right up here in the sky and just, just do something like that. That's all there is to it. Just, just make a little, little crisscross strokes, something like that. Maybe I need a smaller brush to really, if I can pick it up, no. Dude, these yellows are not pigmented for the canvas. <laughs> oh my God. Come on, Makeup Shack. Thought you were pigmented. Just kidding. <laughs> you can kind of see it. Yeah, it's getting there. I think this is as yellow as it's going to get, so let's see what he does next. Okay, now without cleaning the brush, I'll go right into a little bit of yellow ochre. Just right into it. Don't even have to clean the brush. This is like the yellow ochre. Oak. What do you say? Yellow ochre? Yellow oak? Oh, yes! Yes! Wait, that's starting to look really yellow. Oh my god. <laughs> what am I doing? Well, this is as good as the yellow is going to get. Now we're gonna move on to the bottom. So he brought it all the way to where the yellow is and kind of like blend it up. Okay, Bob Ross. Better watch out, you got some competition over here. Okay, so we have the yellow, the yellow oak. Sort of a golden color. There, once again, without cleaning the brush, a little touch of the bright red. Be careful with the bright red. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous color, but it is so strong. Mm. One, two, but turn the whole Atlantic Ocean red. Kind of want to go in with James Charles Red. This is kind of like the reddest shade he has in his palette. So we're gonna take this. Dang, his looks so good. Like he just goes and it's like beautiful. And mine is like, help. Ooh, that kind of looks like a cute sunset. She kind of cute or whatever. Be very careful with it. Don't need much. There we go. We we'll just sort of blend that around like that. There. That's pretty already. I just realized he took the red all throughout the canvas and also like the yellow. Now then, for the rest of the sky, tell you what, let's let's do the rest of the sky in. Let's let's use a lavender color. We'll just brush mix it here. I'll use a little phthalo blue, glycerin crimson. So I'm going to take these two 
mix these two colors together, swirl them around, and start making the clouds. For the clouds, I'm gonna be using this brush. There we are. Gorgeous colors. Oh my God. How about if I do this? Does that look better? His painting looks so good. And mine's like wonky over here. Add a little bit of phthalo blue. So what's next? I want that blue against the green, or the yellow here, or we'll get green. Ooh, he said I don't want the blue with the yellow because then I'll get green. Mine's a little bit green on this side. Let's have a big cloud. Yes, I'm excited for the cloud. Ah, I feel like this is going to make my whole painting come together or whatever. So let's see what I have to mix. Titanium white. I'll be right back. Don't go away. Put a little bright red with it. Shoot, let's make a firecracker, sparkler. I'm gonna take a little bit of white, and I'm going to cut a little bit of the lipstick. Oh, I have the same color that he has going on. Yes. In our world, there lives a big old cloud right up in here. It just sort of floats around, has a good time all day. Okay, so we're gonna start painting the clouds. I have my little fan brush. Ooh. I feel like such a painter. I'm over here trying to like keep a positive mind, guys, but if we're being honest, my painting looks nothing like his. Ooh, that wood looks like a cloud. Hmm. Bruh. I'm gonna get our little, our little soft blender brush. Very gentle, soft little brush. And just blend the base of that out a little bit. Gentle, gentle, gentle. We're gonna take this brush and very lightly blend. See all kinds of little things. Least, least little touch of the phthalo blue, maybe. Oh, that's nice. Be careful that you don't hit that yellow, though, or we'll have a brilliant green sky, and we're not looking for that. Some phthalo blue now. Okay, let's take a little bit more of this CoverGirl lipstick. I'm not mixing it with the yellow because we don't want a green sky, but. You know, just mixing it somewhere in there. A little bit on this side. Let's just put the indication of some little floaters around in here. Just enough to break it up. Oh, I was just about to do the floaters. I already did my floaters over here. Let's go up in here. All right, let's do this. Let's put a nice dark cloud in here. That contrast will, it'll sparkle. It'll absolutely sparkle. I feel like the more clouds I put, the less yellow I'm having over here. There. Maybe we'll put a wild shape on this one. Shoot, maybe there's some nice things happening down here. Just take that color that you picked up and use it. And very lightly. That's where the blender brush really works well. And sometimes <gasps> you can take... He has a big white gap underneath of his canvas. Sky. Just pretend like we know what we're doing. <laughs> you take a little of that bright red and white. And you can put a few little highlights up here just to dull everything down so it's not quite as distinct. Yeah, a little highlights here and there. So you can make out a little detail in this cloud. Don't want much though. Oh, not too much? Hmm. Already, already did that a lot. I added too much. You're gonna just like. Yes, my bros! Looks good. Let's take some pure titanium white. Maybe in our world, maybe the sun lives right behind that big cloud there. I'm just going to go right over that and I'll put it back in if I decide I want it. Because we don't make mistakes. It's starting to look more like a sun now. It's starting to look more like it. Okay, let's see. We're going to, we just have to like blend this upwards. Let's add a little bit more white. Well, it looks pretty good, pretty legit. I mean, I'll get the job done. Oh my God, I'm so going to hang this up in my house. When they ask, who painted this? Me. Moi. And I'm even in the sign here. Make up my pita. See there, just blend it all together. Look at that. See that contrast? It just jumps right out at you. Does this jump right at you guys? Be honest, guys. Right now, go to the comment section and let me know.
Does this jump right out, you guys, or is it kind of like, just like, nothing? Let's take a little bit of that nice lavender color. Let's paint in a, maybe the indication of just a, a happy cloud that lives right here. I'm gonna blend it out with that. See that? Blend it out. <laughs> oh my God, is someone please come help me? Bob Ross? See there. Mm. I get excited when I see these, they turn me on. <laughs> he said I get excited when I see these. These? Have you seen these clouds? When I see these clouds, it makes me sad. It makes me sad that I can't even do a simple cloud. Isn't that a dynamite sky? Now, I tell you what, if you take, if you have a room in your home that's sort of dull and blase, you do a painting like this and hang it, and when you walk in the room, the color will jump on you. <laughs> makes you feel good. <laughs> if I hang this in my house, in a room, I can't. His painting, I would hang anywhere in my house. My painting is probably gonna go in the attic. And let's have a little mountain. First, maybe we'll do a couple mountains. We'll have one that lives far away. This little mountain, he lives wee, wee back here. Almost, almost to the edge of nowhere. And we'll grab that and firmly pull it. Just pull it. You know what, this is not gonna work. That's not going to work. I love how my mountain looks like the typical mountains that they show you how to do like in first grade. Like just like this. Cut off our little roll of paint. It should live right on the edge of your knife. Then we go up here and here's a mountain. So I'm gonna take a little bit of black since he said a little bit of black for the mountains. I'm gonna take some mascara for that. This might not turn out good, but we're gonna try it. Yep, just like I expected. Nope, mm-mm. Okay. Oh, that looks like a mountain, right? There we go. Just blending that out. Tell you what, let's put a little. Oh my God, guys, this looks hideous. I'm gonna cry. Tell you what, let's put a little bit of highlight. I'll use a little bit of that bright red, little white. I don't want much highlight, just enough. So we see a little sun zinging right across there. Okay, so we're gonna take a small amount of white, put it on top to make sure some sun is hitting. Oh, but the sun's over here. Mm. Okay, um, well, this one might catch a little bit of sun from this section, from this area. Then we're gonna take a little bit of, on this, so sun is hitting it, like that. Okay, okay, that looks pretty legit. Maybe there's just a little footy hill that lives back here, right below that mountain somewhere like that. Just pull straight down. How's this looking? Good? Okay. And we'll just put in a happy little water line. Okay, so we're gonna add a little bit of water. Mm -hmm. It looks like there's water. It kind of looks like it, right? Right? Please say yes. And we'll take a fan brush today. Loaded full of color, a lot of paint. You know what? I have one, this, this fan brush will be so bomb because it's so tiny. Let's use this. But I need something to make it a little bit darker. So what should we use? What if I put a little bit of this color in here? Would that make it like dark enough? Oh, yay! We're getting some eyeliner in here. I grabbed my NYX eyeliner and I was like scooping it out. Okay, okay, okay. <gasps> yay! Okay, what's next? What's next, Bob Ross? I'm excited for my trees. Maybe in our world, choop, 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 there is now. Maybe there's a little tree, happy little tree, and he lives right there. There he comes. This would be very dark, though. With this kind of sky, you'd almost have silhouettes here. Very dark. Very, very dark. There's a happy little tree that lives there in our world. <gasps> my tree looks like Bob's Ross tree. Yes! Finally something looks like his. I am so excited. I feel like these trees definitely made my painting much better than what we had going on earlier because Lord knows my painting was looking a little funky. I'm gonna take a two inch brush. Eh, Cause that's what was handy. Maybe there's a bush that lives right there. And 
a lot of nice bushy areas. So it looks like he's adding a little bit of green and I just remembered I have a Jeffree Star lipstick. And then let's start doing some bushes. Like he said, there's like some living bushes here. Dark green, dark green. And we'll come right along in here. Dark green though. Don't make a bright shiny thing this dark. And put the indication here and there and there and here. Like some hints of yellow, like to make seem like there's some flowers here. Look at me, Bob Ross. Yes, yes, yes. All right, maybe. Maybe we'll have a little path right there. The old clock on the wall tells me it's about time to finish this one and call it a day. I'd like to wish you happy painting and God bless, my friend. Okay, now I have to sign it because, of course, I have to sign my masterpiece. Let me go ahead and sign it. We're going to put makeup. By Pita. There you go. That's my sign, my signature. You really can't see it, but I signed it. So, what do you guys think? Okay, if we're being honest, like, honestly, girl. The sky, my hands though, wow. But this is what a true artist looks like when you're done painting, just kidding. <laughs> but the sky, do not pay attention to my sky because my sky is probably not the best. It looks a little bit messy. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, the mountains, I was so scared when doing the mountains because they look nothing like mountains. It just looked hideous. But once I started adding the little reflection of the sun and like all this stuff, the white, it looked, started looking good. I feel like what saved this entire canvas definitely has to be the trees. Overall, I feel like my canvas does not look bad. For this to be made out of makeup, I think I did a pretty freaking good job. Um, if you guys want me to do like a part two of this and do um, another painting, this was kind of like the easiest painting he had in a way. He has some other ones where they're a little bit harder. Like I said, I am not good at art whatsoever. So the fact that this looks all right, honestly impresses me. Am I gonna hang it in my house? Probably in my beauty room when I'm like in here, I'm the only one that's in here. Probably just so my eyes can see it, but for someone else to see it, they're probably gonna be like, what is that? So I'm probably just gonna save it for myself and hang it in my own beauty room for me. But overall, I had so much fun filming today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and had a good time. If you did, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can be part of the Peter Chef family and we can keep on growing. We're on the road to one mil and I know we can make it happen and also don't forget to turn your post notifications hit the little bell twice so you can notify you the next time I upload a new video and I will see you guys on the next one bye guys